Time for another daily vlog. Time for another daily vlog with the Board Explorer and the lovely Julia. Hello, Julia. Hello, lovely Richard. We haven't seen you for a while. No. What have you been up not to? Not since the SMT video. Oh, yeah, the meet-up video. Yeah. What, have you, what, have you been ignoring me? Uh, no, oh. I've been paying plenty of attention to your content. Uh, oh, I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Otherwise, there'll be questions yeah. in Parliament. In Parliament? I, yes. We'll go that far with it. It, it will. Anyway, um, we thought today we'd just have a little stroll around the place that's near you. Yes. Where is it then? Um, I know it is Orient Recreation Ground, but it's been labelled as something else on the tiny forest sign. Ah. So when you say Orient, is it? Are we in as China in, or somewhere? No, like Orient that? Road. I'm not sure why it's named thus, but it is. Oh right. Um, it's just off off the Broadway. Oh okay. So we haven't got to speak in funny voices. No, we don't or, have to no. speak in funny voices. I wonder where the Orient Road got its name from then. I wonder if it's something to do with shore and port and ships going to the Orient. Perhaps. Who knows? I've got not the foggiest, to she be fair. She hasn't got the foggiest. Anyway, um, so we're in the park here, the recreation ground. Very empty, isn't it? It is. I mean, you've got the little playground there. You've got some um, adult... Uh, exercise equipment on the outside and you've got this little basketball pitch there a football pitch there which gets used most Saturdays I think we've picked the right time because the parents are probably going to school to pick up the kids yes and so they're not in the park yes. which suits us down to a ground because the purpose of this little daily 10 minute vlog in one take wonder <laughs> is to go to the tiny forest the tiny forest. It's 250,000 acres of um, woodland down there in Ecuador. <laughs> Not actually that one. I think no. we, we've decided against that one because the uh, train fare was a bit expensive. Yeah. So this is a tiny forest. Yeah, the concept was um, thought up in Japan. Surprise, surprise. Um, where spaces of paramount Japan, is that importance. in the Orient? Yes. Yeah, just a, you know, moment of nonsense. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a, it's a, cause, uh, in Japan they don't have a lot of space for um, woodland. Is that why it, it's...? Yes, because, well, well, they, well, they have plenty of wild areas, but a lot of it you can't do much with anyway. No. Anyway, yes. um, the concept of the tiny forest is to have many, as many um, different species of tree in a small area like well they usually say a tennis uh, tennis court size yeah but this doesn't seem to be a tennis court size doesn't seem quite big enough as a tennis so so i mean don't get me wrong i'm not, not going to get you wrong oh. don't get oh don't get me wrong so okay so for those people who have no idea what a tiny forest is i mean it's a it's a, a it's a well, quantity isn't it it's a known thing it's an actual thing it's not just oh, this happens to be a forest that's small. I mean, it's a bit of woodland, yeah. specially planted in a very small zone, the size of typically a tennis court. Is that, that's the typically, idea, isn't it? Yeah, although this seems half that size. At this least. is very much it's just a one court. Shape. Yeah. yeah. Wimbledon would be appalled. It's almost a squash court, actually. Yeah, <laughs> actually, yeah. And, but it's not just filled with trees. No, unfortunately, I th I'm not sure what... This is, but um, it was laid down as, as straw over the um, seedlings, you know, over, around the basin. <laughs> and obviously the heads weren't removed or something because oh, I see. So they've all they, grown. Uh, this is fascinating, isn't it? So here we are, the, the people go around doing this and they get permission to put these tiny forests in different places across the country. Yeah, part of some big Yeah, and so here's, a, here's a park. And these experts have put in a whole load of different species of trees. Mm. Is that right? And they put straw down from what you just said, but the straw, Has the heads of the straw have dropped, obviously, and sprouted and grown. Yes. And this is what you get behind us. Look. You've got some trees trying to poke out through. This one. I mean, this one. It's uh, utterly and utterly ridiculous. I don't know if you can see on the GoPro, but there are trails in there that I actually made in there this morning with, with my littlest, Joseph. <laughs> he was following behind as I went through finding a tree, digging it out, bending the, uh, the I think, what, is, what are they? Is it barley? I think it's, yeah, it's something like um, wheat. I think it's wheat, isn't it? 
Um, here we go. So here's the official sign. If, you, if you're looking on your phone, or if you've got your phone available, rather, there's a. Uh, there's one of them. QR code. QR. I think that's to do with Queen's Park Rangers. <laughs> not sure. Uh, not that I'm a football man. Um, urban forests are very important. Climate adaptation retains water because of their trees. Water. Uh, increase local storage. So handy if you've water got a lot storage. of stuff that you don't want to have in a house, you can store it there. Water. And oh, water storage. Provides it's thermal comfort and take up carbon dioxide. Tiny forest provides natural habitats for wildlife and can attract over 400 animal and, and plant species. How many can you spot? Well, I've got a horrible feeling. Oh, can we go in? Yes, this way. Yeah. I've got a horrible feeling that um, when we get into the end of July, which we're in July now, because of all this, well, there's a mixture. There's spring barley. This is spring barley here. This one is based that kind of grass. I think Jeremy Clarkson's going to come in his big tractor. Oh, yeah, there's different types. There's different types of it. So the, all that straw was made. I just this is barking. So we've got a little oak there. Oh, sorry. Here's a little oak. Look at that. So Joe and I were helping the baby trees this morning. <laughs> Like this patch was done by someone else. They've just gone and flattened everything really. I Why did they put the, the straw down? Do I think it was to protect the, the protect soil the base trees. and yes. things like that. But and they obviously didn't get rid of the heads. It's, no. It is odd. And have the, I suppose the organisers who've done this haven't come back? Um, I don't really know because I, I, if I backed on to the, the grounds I'd be able to watch it more closely. But yeah. um, as it's all the way over there from the park, I can't always and they can't really just come and mow it because they'll mow the trees down, well, won't quite. they? Well, quite. It's, it's <laughs> but I think the community are coming around to you know, doing things like this to try and help. The trees seem to be doing okay, though, especially um, I mean, in some cases, I think it's actually protecting the fast-growing ones. Right. It's not but, taking um, away the nutrients from the soil and well, the it water. it could be, but as it dies down, it will return them to the soil anyway, really. Yeah. In I suppose. If anybody knows, they could write comments, couldn't you? if you know whether it's detrimental to the trees. But I suppose not. I mean, it, this is nature, isn't it? Nature's doing its thing, but it is odd. Yeah, it is odd. Some of the stuff I think it's got a damaged. cock up, really. That's what it is, isn't it? <laughs> yes, but you know, I'm still grateful for it being here. I mean, it is something else to do when I do get to come yeah. up this end of the, uh, the area. Yeah, and I guess Joe, Joe enjoys it. He does. Let's have a let's have a little look round of the actual um, area. So there we go. I opened out some of the uh, plants around the front here that we just passed just over. This patch here is where I entered mm -hmm. and uh, freed up some uh, oaks. I'm not even sure what that one is. Is it hazel? I'm not sure. I don't often see them all as as tiny ones. I only see the big ones really. Um, I'm way around here. This one is either, but it's spiky. Well, that looks like gorse. Yeah. Okay. Down here. Hazel down here. I think. Is that it? Can you put your hand on the gorse? I can't see. Oh, it is in shot. Yeah. Sorry, I was looking at. I'm only filming on the GoPro again. Yeah, you can't see what's going on. Um, is this beach? Yeah, that's it, beach. No, it looks too serrated on the edges. No, it's not that. beach. It's not beach. <laughs> Some more oaks. Ooh. Oh, don't fall over. Nope, I thought I was stepping on a, on a tree. <gasps> Heaven forbid. But yeah. There, there are loads coming out. Well, it's fascinating, isn't it? It's a sh such a shame, really, because, you know, if kids are there to learn how trees are growing, they, it's very hard for them then to differentiate between the mistake of the barley and the wheat and mm. whatever the grasses are that sprung and, of course, the trees. Yeah. Tell you what, though, it's a good place to come foraging for little food, sna you know, snackies, yeah. and lunch for, for the tortoise, my tortoise. Oh, for the tortoise! <laughs> I thought you meant for you. Then. No, no, but that come would have been a good, you know, would be a good thing if we harvest could have, the the wheat and make some bread. We could have another a semicircular patch over the other side with um, lots of fruiting Trees. plants and things. That would be great. Yeah. Mm. Oh well. Um, and of course, we've got aeroplanes taking off because we're near uh, Shoreham Airport, aren't we? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. We're just south of it. Just south. So there we go. Well, this has just been a very quick um, daily, a bit, you know, rubbishly filmed because that's the way these <laughs> work out. <laughs> but the, uh, the good video at the end of the week will be coming out. So look out for that. But Julia, thank you for taking me around into the 
mini forest. Thank you for letting me show off the mini forest. It's quite all right. Be it as it is. It's weird because, um, I say weird, because forest is really the wrong word, isn't it? It's a mini yeah, wood. It's just, exactly, it's a mini woodland, a tiny woodland. Because a forest can take can mean heathland and open spaces. Right. I suppose if you count this bark it, the barked area. Oh yes, I suppose in retrospect. <laughs> yes. You could almost consider it a tiny forest. So there you go. Anyway, from us down here in this plantation, I suppose it is a plantation because they've been planted, haven't they? Um, it's um, back to your life doing whatever it was you were doing before you were rudely interrupted by watching this. <laughs> So see you on the next one. Bye for now. Bye.